All right, kids, here we go. So today I'm actually gonna show you how to deal with a problem that is all over the internet for those of you that have a V75 TBP12 transmitter, which is made by Line 6. And one of the things that this thing has a tendency to have is if you have a moment of stupid, as a lot of us have, and as I also have, if you leave the batteries in and you forget for a period of time and they leak, a lot of things they will just work intermittently. This thing, a lot of the time, will work not at all. And so a lot of people are probably going out and buying new devices and you don't actually have to do this. There's no point spending two or three hundred dollars on a transmitter when this is a very, very easy fix. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to, I'm gonna actually, first I'm gonna actually take the batteries out of it. And what you're gonna need to open this up is you're gonna need a dual screwdriver and you are going to need a T6 sized bit or a Torque 6. So any little jewel case type that's dealt with little fiddly things, like I have one from Mastercraft, which is a Canadian company, part of Canadian Tire, but they also have these available on Amazon and they work extremely well. So you are going to need a T6 Torque size screw. So I've actually already kind of taken the screws out, but I'm going to do one. I have put one back in just to show you. So there's going to be four screws. There's going to be one here. There's going to be one here and there's going to be one here and there's going to be one here. And in order to get them out, you are going to turn them counterclockwise. So I've already taken these three out. I don't see any reason why you need to be bored and watch me take out a bunch of screws. So I'm just going to take this one out here. So I'm going to take my bit in and again, these go out counterclockwise. I'm just going to move that so you can uh, hopefully see it a little better. I'm using a GoPro. So I'm just going to take that out. So I'm just going to take this screw out and I'm going to put it here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to open this guy up. You're going to want to take the battery door out. Be careful when you're taking the battery door out because the little door bar and there's a little spring and if you're not careful they'll go flying and then you'll have one hell of a time trying to get this back together. So once you've got all the four screws out you're just going to carefully pull that out. So now we can see the rest of the device here. Now if you look carefully like I've cleaned up the majority I'm going to just adjust that so that you can see. You can see that I've actually I had some corrosion on the battery compartment, or sorry, on the contact on the right hand side. So that is where I needed to clean. So basically, all you really need to do, um, all you really need to do to clean it is you just need some, I just have a little bit of vinegar here. If that doesn't work, you can also use isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Uh, and in a real pinch and you want to be really careful with this in some cases you can use CLR if you do use CLR be very careful that you don't get anything on the board because then you can get crystallization and then it's garbage but nine times out of ten if you're careful uh, you should be able to do this no problem with vinegar or you can use isopropyl rubbing alcohol and basically all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a key oh and you'll need some q-tips as well and then you're just going to take some q-tips you're just going to dip it in like so and then you're just going to take you're just going to take the contact where you have your corrosion and you're just going to rub it rub 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 as much as you can like so right and then uh, just keep rubbing until it's as clean as you can get it and then you basically just put it back together and turn it on put your batteries back in obviously and then turn it on and then it will work. In really extreme cases of corrosion, one of the things that you can do if it still does not work and you're not able to get, you have a lot more corrosion than this. That, I wish this thing would focus, but I need one of those things that Lewis Rossman has, which I will get. But, uh, but yeah, so one of the things that if you have really extreme corrosion, what you can do is you can take very, very fine sandpaper and then just so instead of using the Q-tip, I'm just going to use it to point. So you can just use the sandpaper and then basically just scratch, finely sand the area where the contact is. 
and then take a soldering iron and just put a small tiny dollop of tin and that will deal with the contact and then basically that's it so then all you have to do is you just have to basically put it back together which i'm going to do right now everything is pretty much good as new so now let's put our batteries in and see if it'll turn on which it should all right, so we'll close that up and the battery is been put in and uh, moment of truth. And there we go. Good as new.